A mysterious soul in the depths of purgatory once spoke with Venerable Stanislaus, telling him that all the fires of earth are like a refreshing breeze when compared to the raging fires of purgatory. There are many terrifying punishments in purgatory, the place between heaven and hell. Here are five of them told to us by the saints. Howdy, and welcome to America Needs Fatima. My name is Adrian Fonseca, and thank you for joining me today. And if you want a Mass said every single day in your name, well, you can click right about here. And if you want to subscribe, so that way you never miss out on another video, well, you can click on the description button right down there. And if you want to hear an absolutely incredible story of Our Lady's power and love, we'll have good news for you. You can just keep watching. Now, before we begin, I want to know that in purgatory, the souls is separated from the body. But for their purification, God can make the souls in purgatory experience the bodily sensation I'm about to describe. So let's begin with punishment number one. St. Bridget was once taken to purgatory, and when she saw a young lady who on earth had committed sins of vanity, her head, which loved to be adorned, was now devoured in flames. Her shoulders and her arms, which she loved to see admired, were cruelly bound in chains of red-hot iron. Her feet, which had been trained for dancing, were surrounded with vipers that tore them with their fangs. And although St. Bridget never saw this soul set free, a cousin of the young woman, who was also vain and materialistic, was later so struck by her cousin's sufferings that she renounced the luxuries of the world and joined a convent. Now moving on to punishment number two. St. Perpetua had a vision of her younger brother, Dinocrates, a boy who had died at seven years of age. He was in purgatory. He was in a desert, with an ulcer on his face and tormented by thirst. He tried in vain to drink from the waters of a fountain, but the rim was too high for him to reach. St. Perpetua prayed for her brother, and three days later she saw him in lovely gardens and drinking from a fountain. She understood then that Dinocrates made it to heaven. Okay, now for the third kind of punishment you will find in purgatory. This one witnessed by a wife who prayed for her deceased husband. After King Sancho of Leon died, his wife Gouda diligently prayed and offered masses for him. One day her husband appeared to her wearing mourning clothes and a double row of red-hot chains around his waist. He pleaded with her, Ah, if you knew, Gouda, what I suffered, you would do still more. Help me, dear Gouda, help me, for I am devoured by these flames. And so when the queen redoubled her prayers and penances and had masses offered for him all around the country, the king appeared to her again 40 days later. He wore dazzling clothes and was completely relieved of his sufferings. I've read stories about purgatory before, but never that last one. How about you? Uh, let me know in the comments down below, have you ever heard any of these real life stories about purgatory? Or maybe you know a story that I've never heard of. If you do, uh, please share it with me in the comment section down below. And if you don't know much about any of the saints that I've mentioned here, or maybe you don't know anything about purgatory itself, well, don't worry. We cover stories like this in Crusade Magazine. In Crusade, we feature articles talking about purgatory, Saints who have seen purgatory, like St. Catherine of Genoa, advice from some of the great Catholic philosophers, cutting-edge Catholic news, prayer suggestions, and so much more. We at American East Fatima design Crusade Magazine to be a way for you to be inspired, informed, and spiritually fulfilled. So again, don't worry if you don't recognize any of these 
stories that we talk about here today, you can learn about all manner of miraculous events through Crusade. So when you sign up to become one of our Child of Mary members, you automatically receive a Crusade Magazine subscription as one of your gifts. So if you want pages and pages of Catholic content at your fingertips, well, click the link in the description down below to sign up to be a Child of Mary today and start having Crusade Magazine delivered right to your front door. Okay, moving on to the fourth punishment. Saint Lidvina was brought to purgatory by her guardian angel, where she saw a man in iron chains that pierced his flesh. Her angel gave Lidvina the opportunity to help the soul. She could ask any grace for him. So Saint Lidvina asked that the horrible chains be removed. Immediately they were. And after the many prayers and penances of the man's sister, his soul was happily delivered from purgatory. And our last for today. Punishment number five. Blessed Margaret Mary saw the soul of a fellow religious sister in purgatory who was tortured in a bed of torments. And just the thought of this bed makes me shudder. Uh, the top and bottom had sharp flaming points, which pierced the flesh. Her heart was torn and caused her terrible sufferings for her thoughts of disapproval and criticism of her superiors. Her tongue was devoured by the vermin and torn from her mouth continually for the uncharitable words that she spoke and her negligence of her order's rule of silence. But the suffering which surpassed all other pains was being forced to watch one of her near relatives damned to hell. After Blessed Margaret Mary offered Holy Communion for the soul, her torments were diminished. But she would remain in purgatory for a long time. And I'll leave you with this. A soul in purgatory once told Blessed Quinziani, If only you knew how pure we must be to see the face of God. Pray. Pray and do penance for me, who can no longer help myself. God loves so much, but is so little loved. We ought to do penance not only for the souls in purgatory, but also for the souls here on earth as Our Lady requested at Fatima, that they may escape hell entirely and avoid purgatory as much as possible. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching, and may God bless you and Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle. God love you. Every new Child of Mary member gets a subscription to Crusade Magazine as one of their gifts when they join. Become a Child of Mary today by clicking right here on your screen. As soon as you join, we will start sending this beautiful and spiritual Catholic magazine straight to your front door. Thank you, and may God bless you.